It's heartbroken as 10 victims are in critical condition after an accident occurred on Winneba Road. Many situations are contributing to loss of precious lives in the country with road carnages being among the topmost. Many lives have been lost through road accidents which are totally preventable considering the main cause of this accident. Some may be contributed to poor roads, carelessness of drivers and sometimes mechanical faults with cars. Whatever the cause may be, every accident has a cause. That is what makes it possibly preventable. In any cause, this task is a collective responsibility of all and sundry drivers, passengers, pedestrians, the police, the DVLA, among others. It is just so sad witnessing deaths of all sorts which happens as a result of road accidents. We talk over it and that's all. The next one that happens or that talks over it is the wars which has just taken place on Winneba. The police need to top up their games by enforcing the law strictly on our roads. It is the duty of the police to check the roadworthy of cars. At every checkpoint, the police needs to interrogate passengers on the conduct of the drivers. This will help them ascertain the behavior of drivers. In most cases, some drivers care little about how they overtake other vehicles wrongfully. Overtaking is one of the main causes of road accidents. Some drivers can be reckless to the point where they would want to overtake in curves and on mountains. It is a collective responsibility of passengers to call drivers to order whenever they misbehave on the roads. Speeding is another factor. Most drivers often ignore or disobey the speed limits that have been provided. Unnecessary speeding usually makes it easy for some accidents to occur when they could possibly be prevented. The only surest way of controlling speeding on our road is the attachment of speed ramps. Road contacts should have speed ramps at vantage points to reduce the content at which car users speed on our roads. 10 persons are in critical condition while many others are also injured in a near fatal accident which occurred on Thursday evening at Gomo Port Sin stretch of the Koswa Winneba Highway after a fully loaded Sprinter Benz bus with registration number somersaulted several times. One of the victims who is also a pastor and was preaching in the vehicle, Pastor Isaac Afo narrated. FM News correspondent Eric Owusu and Ponsa that the vehicle was transporting passengers car from Koso to Agona Swadru but upon reaching a section of the road suddenly suffered a bus tire which caused the driver to lose control of the steering wheel veering off the road and some assorted several times before crushing. One casualty was recorded but at least 10 passengers including children were seriously injured. Ghana National Ambulance Service responded swiftly on the scene to rush the victims to whenever trauma. Hmm. You see, I said something concerning these um, unnecessary accidents that we are experiencing not only on this um, Winneba or international road or neighboring country road. I said something about that. I said that um, before any driver or any interstate driver should be allowed to embark on any traveling most especially 
um, now that uh, we just finished uh, the COVID-19 period, you know that we, it's, it's not been long we just finished or we just broke out from COVID-19, you know that. And since that period, you know that um, the road has been, has been left on, unattended to. And because it has been left unattended to, definitely that we're supposed to experience supposed to experience weakness they're not supposed to experience weaknesses you understand because no cars have been flying on the road maintenance have not been carried out you know and all of that you know so i said that um before any vehicle should be allowed to be plying the road it is advisable that um that um, the, the the interstate drivers should on their own they should not wait for the government because you know anything about the government is delayed is delayed so they should on their own pay attention to that road if it means paying to 200 naira paying to 200 naira you know for themselves contribute it you understand contribute it for them uh, for, uh, within themselves you know and um and then um, work on that road at least is for themselves because for some time they have not been working they have not been working for some time so it gives them opportunity to um, to walk properly on the road, you know, put the road in order and be able to ply easily without any form of accident occurring. You understand? But it seems that um, I don't think anybody actually um, actually looked into into that issue. Nobody looked into it. You see that, and now the thing, the whole thing is affecting us. It's affecting us severely. It's affecting us. You see that? So, I am saying this now, at least for a proper movement to be made. Okay, look at what has just uh, happened on this Winneba Road now. Though I don't know um, what really caused this very one, probably it's because of bad roads or probably because of um, poor... Uh, poor uh, driving skill or speed limit or something like that you understand we don't really know but um, the only thing that i would just say is that um proper checking should be carried out on any uh interstate driver plying the interstate road it is very very important it is very very important okay very important at least for the safety of the people so please my dear viewers um i would like to hear from you on this very issue to know what you have to say about this if you're new don't forget to leave your comment below the comment box click on the subscription buttons as well as the bell buttons to receive more updates thank you